Hey, it's Mike the Scrapping Guy again, and I have another video tutorial for you using Photoshop Element 7. Now you've probably seen this effect done on uh, different photographs where you'll have a black and white picture, but then only one small element of that photo will actually be in color. Uh, one of the common photos you'll see a little girl uh, holding a rose, and the whole picture's in black and white, but the rose actually happens to be uh, the pink or the red or whatever color rose it is and that's the only thing that's in color and you might think my goodness that's really difficult to do I'll never be able to do that but when you see this video you're gonna be amazed how simple that actually is to do so what I have here is a picture of a girl and she has the pink pillow and pink uh, designs come behind her and what I'm gonna do is just make her black and white and I'm gonna leave the pillow and a couple of the other elements uh, as a actual color so the first thing I want to do is go over to my effects and you want to make sure if you probably have this um, filters already selected but you want to come over and we want to click on the photo effects button then we're going to scroll down and one of the effects is the tint black and white so all I need to do is I have my layer down here as in color all I need to do is go ahead and grab that put it on top of the photo and you can see down here it now has a copy of that photograph but now it's in black and white with the color one underneath so just to show you how simple it is we're gonna go ahead and go over to our eraser tool click on the eraser tool and you can choose any size you want depending on the photo that you're working on but I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna erase what I want to be the color that's gonna be behind it so let me go ahead start working on this pillow because I know that's the color or that's the uh, item that I want as a color so I get go ahead and get most of that most of the big parts I use a bigger brush there we go and let me go ahead I'm going to zoom in go back to my eraser tool and a little keyboard shortcut I can use if you have your left and right brackets you can actually adjust the size of your uh, brush with the left or right bracket to make it bigger or smaller. So I'll make it a little bit smaller to get around here. There we go. Just get a little more detail. And you could probably want to zoom in and, and you can get as detailed or as close to the edges as you like. And I, I usually try to leave a little bit of a soft edge on it, not a whole lot, but just to keep it from being pixelated on certain scenes. Or certain photographs that have straight lines or little angled lines sometimes you'll see like little pixelization so we have that I'm going to screw up and then this little element here I wanted that to still be uh, in color so I'm going to go ahead and erase behind there maybe this little line I'll just kind of follow that line up there we go and I think there was another one that has another line here just add a little bit of a color element there and maybe one more right there. Now let me go ahead and zoom out. And there we have it. There's our photograph. It's all black and white except for a couple of the elements that we wanted to keep as the color in the background. And it just shows you how, e how easy that is to do in Photoshop Element 7.